Hello everybody, welcome back once again to Dwarf Fortress. I don't know why, I just got in the mood to play more Dwarf Fortress and I kind of want to see where the civilization goes that I'm playing, the, the, the craft and mechanism. So I thought I would start a new fortress. And um, yeah, I, I thought I would give a little bit of a overview of my civilization, where it's at at the minute and just a bit of its history, just to give some context to this fortress because uh, I think this I think this civilization's got quite an interesting history. I'm going to continue on with the same civilization that I built my last fortress with and I'll, you know, well, let's just go through. So the civilization is called the Craft of Mechanisms. It is a dwarven civilization of the oracular plane. In the year one, they founded Touchcraft, which was their first fortress. And basically, for years and years, Touchcraft just had all these celebrations and competitions and mirth and merriment. Yeah, so, for example, uh, the Craft of Mechanisms held a wrestling competition in Touchcraft as part of the celebration of trade, competing where the human Ammon Strapping Perfect and the Monitor Devil Eddie Demon Hate the Speckled. The Monitor Devil, Eddie Dem Demon Hate the Speckled, was the victor. So, yeah, basically, it was just a lot of fun. A lot of fun for years and years and years. Celebrations, joy. I'm sure there was conflicts and things in between, but, you know, it was generally a good time. That is until one fateful year. The year 63. The early summer of 63. The Forgotten Beast, Zakosp. Tomb Vultures, the heart of cancers, routed the universe orb of gangs of the craft of mechanisms and destroyed Touchcraft. So that was, I think, was our only fortress. So basically, this dwarven civilization existed for 63 years in complete peace and merriment. And then it was just destroyed one day by a forgotten beast. Let's have a look at this forgotten beast. So Zakos Tomb Vultures. The Heart of Cancers was a forgotten beast. It was the only one of its kind. An enormous scaly leech. It has thin wings of stretched skin and it belches and croaks. Its golden yellow scales are round and close set. Beware its poisonous vapours. Zakosp is associated with disease and caverns. And I believe that Zakosp is still going. Yeah, still out there. 96, he was out there devouring donkeys. Basically, that was that was pretty much the history of our civilization. Up until year 63, it was all going well. And suddenly, the, the fortress was destroyed. And it doesn't really tell you what happened to the dwarves after that. But I, I imagine they just sort of scattered into the hills and lived, lived a kind of nomadic life. Because it doesn't say they found it anywhere else. For years and years, they just, I don't know, just homeless. But then I came in, took this homeless civilization and founded Red Lion. Now, this was my way of bringing everyone back together. I wanted to create a hub where anyone could come along. Any travelers could come visit and any of our stragglers, any of the old civilization could come and meet a hub. So my idea was to build a dwarven tavern. We, we had our battles. We had a few goblin attacks. We had a few uh, rock attacks and things like that. I think a few giants and things came in, but it wasn't too bad. But I don't know what happened, but basically due to my bad management, I suppose, dwarves kind of started to get a bit unhappy and we were in a bit of a misery spiral. But um, yeah, I just decided to retire the fortress, pass the management on to somebody else. And as you can see, in the year 106, the last merchant of the craft of mechanisms at the settlement of Red Lion regained their senses after an initial period of questionable judgment. So I retired the fortress. It's now out there in the world running on its own. Hopefully it can uh, survive. But it basically it was a, a tavern with a fortress hidden underneath it. It was going quite well, but yeah, it was time to retire. But I want to continue the civilizations. I like the idea of this scattered civilization being brought together and being brought back to glory. So, same world. It's going to advance time a little bit here. So, who knows what's going to happen to Red Lion in the interim. So, yeah, we were down here somewhere. Hmm, where is Red Lion? Oh, here it is, yeah. We're at war with the goblins, it says. So, as you can see here, we have what looks like a, a volcano. And I thought, what better place to try and conquer than uh, than this area here? This just seems 
Seems good. So yeah, you can see population 220, number of sites one. The one site that we built. Before that, we had zero sites. And we've got a few other civilizations in the world. The bearded shields, they're, they're also very small. Um, these guys up here, these are, these are, you know, they've got a whole bunch of sites dotted around this mountain range. The armored gravel, the uncertain ores are right over here in the in the corner, and the Aegis rope are all the way up here. So yeah, we've got like some big civilizations, but they're all quite far away from us. So yeah, it seems like a good place to settle. And yeah, we're gonna go for this area here. It's just just looks like good fun. You were selected a savage area. The wildlife might be very dangerous here. Okay, good. Now I'm going to plan for my journey carefully. So I'm going to call it um, Vushnug, Hotfoot. Yeah, that sounds good. It's the fortress of Hotfoot. We'll take, we'll take a couple of goats, maybe. A nanny goat and a billy goat. Lovely. Yeah, we'll just take as much beer as we can carry. Just We'll just keep the dwarves happy. Right, here we go. Let's make you a good fighter. There we go. We'll make the miners into good fighters. All right, let's go. You've arrived after a journey from the mountain homes into the forbidding wilderness beyond. Your harsh trek has finally ended. Your party of seven is to make an outpost for the glory of all Rigoth Bembel. Okay, here we go. And look at this. I've never embarked on a volcano before, so this is pretty exciting. And bloody hell, what a weird looking volcano. It's just got a, a big wall here. And it just seems to go up into the air that's really weirdly designed okay that's fine though I suppose it's just like a big spout coming out the top of the ground there and then we've just got this massive big it's easier to see on this bit of the map here yeah and then we've got some flat ground here but look at this this is absolutely crazy wow right I've never I've honestly never seen a volcano in this game before it's my first time no water though, that's the only problem. Be nice to get some obsidian going, but it doesn't seem like there's any... Uh... Okay, well, you know what? Let's just start digging out from down here on the ground. What I'm imagining is I could make a nice little entrance that just dig goes all the way through the middle of the fortress. Through here. Gently slopes down to the ground here. Yeah, that's my that's my idea. That's my initial idea. I think that'd be nice. So let me. I'm gonna just plan this out first. Yeah, something like this. Just a plan. So it'll come. We'll have a, like a road going right through the mountain to just make it easy for everyone, like a big tunnel going through. Now, once we get here, this you know, I reckon we could have like a little entrance way here okay let's start digging this out just a big old cat big old tunnel going through the middle so i'll find some garnets that's nice um okay and i'm also going to set up a military here so it's just going to be so that i can have someone to jump into action so we're going to have one of these Get out. I, I don't know how you get rid of those things. Ah, oh, go away. So we're going to have the woodcutter and the miner. And we're going to dig out this area here. It's going to be a little safe zone. A little, I don't know, like a little initial fortress. Just somewhere to set up a nice safe home for us all. It'll be lovely. So what I'm going to do initially, and this is just a temporary thing. Just to get things started. couple of farm, farm plots here. Because 
got a nice loam floor here. I think we may as well put that to use, get some farm plottage going. And yeah, we'll start like basically we'll have a little a little just like a temporary little place here. We'll sort of have a place to bring all our stuff in. A place for a few workshops. A little temporary area. So come on dwarves, get digging. We'll see what's we'll see what's around here. These farm farm blocks have been done, so we're gonna have plump helmets all year all year round in one of them. And the other one I'm gonna have plump helmets. Plump helmets. And then sweet pots if I can. That'd be nice. This oh, up here is just to open to the world. We just got our a free source of magma so we could potentially just start our metal industry start getting some metal on the go start digging down and mining out whatever we can find We've got tetrahedrite so yeah we could have a nice little industry going without any uh, without any tree wastage and we can use the trees for other things okay we'll start a big pen pasture type of thing I I'll put all of our animals in there. We've got a donkey and stuff there. Okay, good. I'm going to set up a couple of workshops in here for now. Um, just like a carpenter's workshop and stuff. Just here. Just, what well, you know, while I've got a bit of space, I think things are going to be moved in, but, you know. So maybe I should have the, like a bit of a brewing industry over here. Something like this, maybe. That might be better. So I could have a little meeting hall here. I don't think it'll be, you know, it'll probably be a temporary meeting hall, but it should be nice. Yeah, I mean, I went into Last Fortress with a plan to build a pub. Uh, this fortress, I don't have a plan. It's just... I'm just going to build things and see where it takes me, really. Let's build a... Um, oh, what's it? Stone worker? Just temporary. I just want some blocks and things. Start chopping down some trees. Let's anger the, anger the elves early on. We may as well get our fill of the trees before they come and start complaining. May as well get them out and get them out the ground. Every tree we can see. Thank you, dwarves. Oop. Everyone's doing this as their mo most important priority. Oh, black pyropes. Nice. I might start digging out um, some over here, whatever that is. Humble beginnings. Humble beginnings. I know I should have some trees, so um Yeah, oh, there we go, we've got some trees. Make a bed. And also Make a door. Where's doors? Would be in D, wouldn't it? For door. Yeah. D for door. Make a door and make rock blocks on repeat. Thank you. I think I've only got one guy who can do these. I, mean, I could be wrong there. Well, I kind of wanted to make my workshops and things out of blocks. What have we got here? Some kind of insects. Swarms of flies infesting our ma magnificent tunnel. That won't do at all. All right, what I'm going to do now, let's just, let's just get this tunnel straight on the go. Immediately, just give our miners a ridiculously long task to do, whilst everyone else does the other things that need doing. Um, right. Let's get a still. And maybe a 
kitchen. Yes. And we'll get a stockpile here for food. Is it just oh, there we go, food. And then we'll get we'll get some beds in. We'll have it all looking nice. We'll get this bit here smoothed out as well. And we should probably just have a stockpile for everything, but Okay, and let's start the brewing process immediately, as soon as possible. We'll also uh, start preparing easy meals, get some biscuits on the go. Yeah, I'm kind of worried about all these flies swarming around our farm, farm plots here. They're not going to eat our crops, are they? I might make a temporary stockpile here and just have whatever I can get into it. Ammo, animals, armor, bars and blocks, cloth, coins, finished goods. Not food, because I've got a separate stockpile for them. This is just going to be a temporary stockpile. Not refuse. Sheet, not stone, and not wood. There we go. So, yep, yeah, we've got a lot of things to do. People will be bringing it in. Miner, why? I tell you what, I do. Miners, get out. I want you to only do mining. Okay, you've got the most important job in the fortress, which is digging. Oh my God! Look at this swarm of acorn flies. Mm, this is terrible. There we go. Our miners are on the job now. Good boys and girls. These two are going to be great friends. See, close friend with Cog. These two are, these two are very good friends. Yeah, this this fortress is a fortress of flies. For, to be sure, I can see them all in the stockpiles there. This is not good. The dwarves don't seem too bothered by them though, so we'll just. I mean, let's have a look. That person there was just swarmed by flies. Yeah, oh, here we go. Look, was annoyed after being pestered by acorn flies was annoyed after being pestered by flies. Mmm, yep. See, it's not so good. Okay, let's make some uh, chairs. And a table. Chairs and a table. And let's put some beds in. I'll make this room into a little dormitory for them. It's not a very ex not a very exciting dormitory, but it's somewhere for them to stay for now. Uh, maybe if we start putting some doors on these things, it'll stop the flies coming in. I don't know. We'll try it. <laughs> it'll it'll do for now. Okay, okay. We're going, the miners are going to go tackle the tunnel from the other side. Set the smoothing of these rooms as high priority. There we go, look. There, we're getting a nice little tunnel going. A little gentle incline, just for any tr sort of traders who want to come through. Shit, the Wolverine man is fighting. Who is, who is the Wolverine man fighting? Let's have a look. Hmm... Uh, these these guys look like trouble. I hope they don't come and attack our fortress. Hmm. There we go. Tunnel's coming along. Let's get this moved out. We're gonna have a nice little nice little hall here. When you're done with that tunnel, what we're gonna do is just sort of dig out a few little farm plots here. Yeah, it's not not going too bad, this tunnel. It's actually quite cool. It's actually working out quite well for us. Very nice. So get that tunnel opened up. We'll have a nice entrance way. And then I think I'll... I'll have the trade depot, like, in the middle somewhere. Perfect. 
Perfect. Good. Lovely. Okay, this is going well so far. We've got food, we've got drink. Let's put in our little meeting hall here, just so the dwarves stop complaining. Let's make it a dining hall. It's our new inn slash tavern. It's a dining hall. It's very nice. Um, let's build some chests, maybe. Uh, maybe some barrels? I don't know. Do we need them yet? We've got a lot of food on the go, so let's just make a ton of barrels while we've got the wood. I mean, I might end up making everything from metal. I don't know. I feel like it's a good opportunity to start getting a bit of metal on the go. All right, miners, how are you going? You're nearly there. Come on. You can get through this. Just be careful of the savage beasts. Oh, look, here we go. Look what's going on here. He's chanting somehow. I don't think I'm cut out for this. Oh, I'm nothing special. He's the militia commander. Of course you're special. And you're the expedition leader. You're not cut out for it. I think you are. You just need to rise to the challenge. And she just says, who cares what they think? It was, she was interested near a fine table and a fine seat. Good. All right. Um, let's get a craft, craft dwarf. Get that in the go. Come on, Minus. Come on, I believe in you. Oh, what are we getting there? Tetrahedrite, silver and copper. Nice. Okay, I'm going to maybe make some silver goblets to drink out of. I think that would be nice. Take a while though, because I want to dig upwards and sort of. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to tackle this. It's a bit sort of. I feel like once I get to here, I'm going to sort of go upwards and then. Okay, let's make some rock mugs just to stop them moaning. Rock mugs, please. And maybe a rock jug. I don't even know what a jug does, to be honest. Rock jugs and rock mugs. Why not? Put chest here. Chest here. There we go. So our miners are through now. We've got our little tunnel. Let's um, let's build our trade depot. Why not? Right, and now I'm going to start the arduous task of digging up. Oh, we've got a bard visiting already. Wow. I wonder if he's come from Red Lion. Heard about our plans to dominate this volcano. And he's like, oh, I've got to see this. I've got to see this, he says. I'm going to turn here. This is going to be quite a slow process. We're going to get up to the top of the mountain. We come up here. Boom, 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 boom. Turn. Go up again. Slow process. But we'll get there. And we're going to start cranking out more stone blocks here. So get back on that. And then maybe we'll get rid of these farm plots here. I'm going to start building them inside, I think. There we go. That'll be better farm plots. I don't know why. Just because I like them better like that. I 
I think the main bulk of the fortress is going to be over here, maybe. Not 100% sure, really. Just, uh, I like the idea of it going all the way over here. The world has passed into the Age of Legends. Wow, well, there's something. There's something, eh? That means something, obviously. Obviously, that's something that's happened. Yeah, there's a long tunnel going down, and then a long tunnel going through. This is a right tunnel tunnel mission. Um, yeah, okay. So, how about we get some rock crafts on the go? And also, how about a jewelers while we're at it? Dwarves are okay. I mean, once they get their own bedrooms, they're going to be a lot happier. But for now, we're focusing on our grand tunnel here. It's a right miners' mission. Hmm, there's a bit of a hole here. I might. Um, let's build a wall because that's that's a bit of a gap here. I don't really want that. <laughs> I don't want a big gap in the wall. Thank you. Oh, I see. We're getting, we're getting to a position where. Okay. Well, we'll just go with it. We'll just see what we can build. So let's. Got lots of microcline. That's good. Loads of people visiting. Mm. I think people have heard about our hospita hospitable ways, you know, from our from our old pub. They're like, yes, we know this civilization's good for it. They're good for a good time. They're good for a good time. They say we we know where to go to have fun, and it's definitely that dwarf, that bloody bunch of dwarf dwarven drunks that we hang out with. Yeah, so this um, it's, it looks a bit weird, but basically we start to come out of the mountain a little bit here. So what I'm doing is I'm building a wall around this. And I'm going to put a, a cap on the top there. Let's get through this. Oh, it's exciting stuff. We're getting, we're getting to the top of this volcano. We're going to get up there and then we're going to do something. You'll see. You'll see what we do. All right, and here we are. We are breaking through to the surface here. Lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. Here we go, here we go. I need to put this uh, hotkey down here, don't I? Hotkey here. Right, let's um, pause that. Just make blocks out of microcline. Huh? Thanks. Cheers, mate. Cheers for that. Let's go to the top of the volcano. Which I'll put another hotkey for. There we go. I think I actually need to set up these... F oh no, no seeds. Oh man. That's no good. Well, hopefully we can trade for some when the uh, caravans come. Oh, and also, let's um, cut gems and 
encrust finished goods we've got gems here we go all right we're getting on we're getting work done we're getting things sorted out sort of <laughs> let's check how things are going down here very nice who are you you're the uh, human hammer and you've come to socialize yeah, you've been had enjoyment so this place is already getting a reputation for a place to have a good time just like uh just like red lion but um no this is going to be a serious trading hub here this is going to be like it's going to be the i don't know i mean as i say i didn't have a plan for this fortress like i did for the last one this is just going to be i don't know just like a standard fortress i'm going to try and build it like um you know make this make this our capital for the time being uh, taking our time aren't they these dwarves building things just one by one um actually yeah miners you can you can do something else while here you haven't got any mining jobs i think those miners were just like All right we haven't got anything else to do we've just been told to mine and do nothing else so they were just sort of hanging around in the pub hanging around in our little tavern that we've made so this guy's got no job you could be building things why are you not building things um, I think one thing, uh, I don't know, I don't want to give him too many jobs, but I do also feel like we need some sort of, some sort of defense, you know, if, if anything bad happens, let's make some, um, wooden blocks out of oak, yeah. So yeah, I think uh, I'll just start, basically, I'll start with a small area. Oh god, we're running out of microclimb blocks already. This is not good. Not to worry, not to worry. Alright, let's make some rock mechanisms. I don't think I had anyone injured yet, so that's good. Yeah, we've got some nice microclimb mugs in our pub here. Um, I mean, can we make some musical instruments, maybe? Make instruments? No, need to build some things for that. Oh, we have got plump helmet spawns here, good. Please don't cook with our ale and our beer. Please don't make food out of it. We need to drink that. I don't want to be cooking it up into meals. Lovely as that might be. You know, a little splash of wine in our spag bowl. Lovely, but you know, it's it's at a premium here. We've got to keep our spirits up. It's very slow. It seems to be only like two people doing it, but everyone else is like doing their own things, open blocks, construct. The expedition leader just seems to do not very much. He always seems to be like listening to a story or dossing about I really don't know you'd think he'd be getting his arse into gear but I suppose he's got socialising to do I'm not going to question his his decisions that's what he wants to do still got Wolverine men wandering around they don't seem to be causing us too much trouble yet but that's famous last words isn't it they might at any moment come and destroy us all track up here it's a real track clambering up the side of the mountain up the side of this big volcano just to put a block in place and then run run back down and get another one uh, come on dwarves you can do it Some dwarves are ecstatic. I don't know who. Let's have a look. This guy, the miner, is just so happy. Blissful. After dining in a great dining room. I remembered had tenderness after remembering talking to a lover. Yeah, well, they were all having fun. It's all fun and games. I 
Oh, and look at this. We've had a little migrant wave. Looks like three migrants. That's nice. Okay, who have we got? Hmm. Another woodcutter, I think. Yeah, another woodcutter and a woodcrafter. Okay. Good. And then we're going to uh, build a little wall around here. So eventually this is all going to be enclosed, so it's like a little, nice little tunnel. This has been done as well, good. So yeah, there we go, we've got a little, little room. It's not got a roof on it yet, but we're getting there. We've got 11. Oh, wait. No, oh, someone else has gotten birth. Hmm. Maybe they're just taking ages to come in. I don't know. This this expedition leader, I don't really understand. Why, why, why does he never seem to be doing any work? I suppose I shouldn't question it. That's what the expedition leader wants to do. Who am I to judge? Okay, so I think this bit's enclosed now, hopefully. This is like our area going up. It looks like it's all enclosed with a nice roof on it. So yeah, from the outside it would just look like a weird brick structure jutting out of the wall. You'd be like, oh, what's that doing there? You wouldn't know. The dwarves know. Of course the dwarves know what it's there for. I'm not really sure where... I'm not really sure where the thing needs to be. Let's see. One, two, three. Let's do like three workshops here. See how that works. Okay, here we go. Furnaces. Magma smelter. Will that work there? make mica blocks while we're at it. Yeah, let's have like a an area coming off here. I don't know what. We're gonna have maybe like a grand hall and then dwarven bedrooms and things up here. And obviously like an area to store all the things we're gonna make. So, let's get the furnaces in. Magma kiln, magma smelter. Um, magma forge, that's what I wanted. And then... Uh, oh. Watch out, dog. Don't go near that bloody pit. Just build another magma smelter. We'll have a hole over that. I think I, sometimes you get like magma crabs and things, but I don't know if they come up through a volcano or whether they just come up through like the magma sea, which is way down deep. So, you know, sometimes it's a good idea to build like cage traps at the entrance, but I'm not 100% sure if I need them. Okay, well, let's make smelt tetrahedrite. Yep, yeah, why not? And this one we can smelt spalerite. I'm not even sure what that makes. But we'll try it out. We'll wait until we get some stuff. Definitely need some more bins on the go. Uh, where's the carpenter? There we go. Make more bins, please. If you please. Starting to get a bit low on the old uh, drink stockpile here. 
Oh, here we go. It's a play caravan. It's good. The play caravan has arrived just in time. And look at this. We've got a, a goblin poet. Dang spidery text. I feel like I've met him before. Did he visit Red Lion? Is that him? Oh, they're coming in this way. Okay. Hello. Welcome. Come and see what we've done here. You like what we're doing in the place. Let's discuss your situation. There's much to share. Okay. Um, right, let's so I don't really know what we need. I guess like I like I like getting paid like um sheet. I like getting sheet. So just bring us that. Because I can never figure out how to make it. I I, I think I could. I think you gotta be like press pigtail and thing. It, it seems like a pain in the ass to make it. I'd rather just import sheet. I like having a bit of a library going on in my forts. And I haven't set up who the broker is, but I think I did have someone who I wanted to be the broker, didn't I? This farmer. It's an adequate appraiser, adequate negotiator. You are our broker. Thank you. So let's start moving things to the depot. Look at this. File amulet. A thousand dwarf books. That's cool. Okay. Cobalt. Oh, they're really like they're really getting in on the crafts, aren't they? I think that must be because it's encrusted with something. Right. There we go. Right, here we go. Was making. Oh, so that makes zinc. Hmm. Well, we may as well use it. And we're getting copper. So let's make um, copper goblet. Um, hopefully, we get some silver. That'd be nice. And zinc. I mean, I don't really know what zinc like. Make nickel silver. Make brass. What are you doing here? Ah, uh, you were. Yeah, yeah. You haven't got anywhere to pray. Hmm. Maybe we should build a little temple. A little, like off the side of the tunnel. We'll build a little temple. Just a little. Just like a little one. Nice little side temple. Just for visitors to come and they can go and have a little pray while they're here. Yeah, down here we're going to start off with... Yeah, I think this this might be a good, a good place to start with some like bedrooms and things. Yeah, why not? Why not? There we go. Yeah, a few bedrooms. Well, 11 people. That's, yeah, that should be just about enough. Oh, look, more migrants. They're just, you know, our civilization has heard of this magnificent volcano fortress. Yeah, okay. All right, here we go. Trades. Let's see what we want from here. Just drink, really. Drink food and drink. Maybe some musical instruments, if we can afford them. Because that would be nice just to keep the the excitement up. And drinks, yeah. I'll take the wooden barrel just for the fun of it. A lot of cloth and a lot of uh, silk and stuff, yeah. And just, we'll take a load of meat and fish. Why not? Take some yarn while we're here. I'll take your cheese. Nice one. Bring that in. Bring that in. Errors in the city. We'll have them, and we'll have these codexes. Just, I do like. I do like having things to read in the fortress. I like my dwarves to be educated, as best they can be. Got to give them a nice, healthy profit, though. That's the only thing. Because our guy is not too good at persuasion. Now they'll start asking for all sorts of stuff that I don't want to sell. And I'll have to go back through the menu just to unselect it, which will be a right pain. So let's try that. Hmm. Really? You're not going to go for that? Huh. 
How about now? Okay, there we go. There we go. All right. Good, we've made our trade. We've got things going on. Our temple's getting dug out. And our volcanic industry is there. Uh, it's underway. It's underway. So, yeah, hopefully we've got some microkine blocks. So, yeah, basically I just need to cap this off. I'm going to have this... This is, all, this is all capped off here. And this is open to the elements. So anything could fly in here and steal all our stuff. I'm going to put a roof on this next time. And a roof on this little tunnel here. And then basically the only entrance to this area will be coming down this, uh, this tunnel. All the way up here. But we will also have our bedrooms and things dug out. So the dwarves will start moving into this area. This this area down here, this is just the, the tunnel. This is just the sort of entrance way. It's, uh, you know, this is this is for the tradesmen, really. This is a tradesman's entrance here. We've got a little, this is going to be like a little, I guess like a little um, pub or something for people to visit, a little tavern and a little temple. And then up here they come, you know, pass all the way through the mountain. They can trade here. And uh, yeah, my other plan is to put some bridges at either end that I can suddenly draw up. If there's an invasion, whoink, we'll draw that up. And yeah, we've got migrants arriving. We've got a population of 15. So it's getting on. It's getting on. And uh, I'm quite liking this big old tunnel going up, up to the top of the volcano. It's a bit of a trek, but yep, it's, uh, it's worth it. It's worth it. All right, hope you enjoyed the first episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.